Hey everyone, we are back with what's sold on eBay for Monday. Um, if I look like I've been sneezing a lot, it's because I have been. I think I've sneezed like a thousand times in the past couple hours. Probably not healthy. I think my allergies might be acting up or Linda thinks there could be something stuck in my nose somewhere. So we'll let you know once we find that out. Anyways, you guys don't care, but we sell stuff on eBay to make money and it's always fun. And today was a super slow day to start off. It was like five o'clock, almost six o'clock, somewhere in there. And we had like three sales or four sales for like 120, which for us is pretty low. And then everything happened around lunchtime. So pretty awesome. Um, some fun stuff here. Not too much really for the dollar amount. The dollar amount's pretty good. Uh, how do we do? Um, we had eight sales for just under $400. So yeah, pretty good average sale price, uh, for these items. One of them's really cool. And then, um, a couple of newer things I just listed. So anything you want to say before we get going? Okay. Let's go ahead and get to it. First item. First item is this Monster Farm Tecmo sale, uh, not for sale disc. So I think it was one of the ones that probably came with something and it didn't want you to resell Japanese. it. Yeah. And it sold for $20 shipped. I think Monster Farm is like Monster Rancher is the English version. I don't know, but maybe. What was it? Oh no, Monster in My Pocket was Pokemon, was that? Pocket Monster. Not Monster in My Pocket. She didn't play Pokemon. She really missed out. Uh, next item. Next item we have is this a is Ninja crazy. Coffee Bar, um, the Reservoir Tank. Uh, it does not have the lid. And it sold for $27. I would not shipped. expect this to go for that much without the lid. I don't yeah. even remember listing it for that much. The only thing I can think of is this maybe is someone the... picked it up and they dropped it and cracked it. No, yeah, I know why someone would buy it, but I didn't think... I don't remember us selling them for this price. This must be a, a better model one. This one's definitely heavy. Well, it's got more. It's got the labels on it. Yeah, it's, I think we sold some other ones and maybe they're smaller. Um, so yeah, that sold for 20 something. Next up, we have this pair of John Norman Gore books. And Gore is in G-O-R. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe the Chronicles of Counter Earth. It's some kind of sci-fi. Like I don't know. I mean, he's in really good shape. I can tell you that <laughs> he's been working out. Um, these are going global shipping program, and they sold for nineteen dollars and some. I've change. sold these books before as well. So if you see the Gore ones, pick them up. Next up, we got a three pack of these are my favorite sale. Giant coloring books. They're literally giant coloring. So we got books. Batman. Wonder Woman, the, the worst superhero, Superman, such a punk. And those are also going global shipping program, and those sold for seventy dollars shipped for the three pack. I think we spent five bucks. That's pretty good, but they're big. Books. Like they I mean, are big. We don't. They're not your normal size coloring books. So no. um, there's some of them have colored pages, but a lot of them are not colored. So pretty cool. Hopefully the buyer will like them. Those be, I think they'd be cool, like, as a display, though, like, if you, like, got little frames for them. Yeah. Because they're so big, it might be cool. I don't know. Next up, we got a single golf club. This is a Strata Plus Sand Wedge. Um, it is a right-handed with a steel shaft, and it sold for $40 shipped. I'm a big fan of the steel shaft, nice and hard. Doesn't really give much. And then, um... Next up is another... stiff, I think, is what they say for the golf community. Golf club sale. This is a five pack of tailor made burner bubble shaft. Bubble, because down here you can see there's like the shaft kind of bubbles and then goes back. So. Oh, yeah, it does. Huh? And it also says bubble shaft, but that's why they're called that. Um, this, you get the driver and woods ten and a half, three. No, ten and a half is the, the degrees of the driver. It's a three wood and a five and a seven. Well, that nine. doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's cool. She's. They are left-handed, though. They are left-handed. I can tell you that. Yes, and left-handed clubs sometimes sell for a little more money, but can sometimes be slower sellers because not as many lefty golfers. But they sold for? They sold for $130. The cool thing about these is this club and the other club I got at a garage sale the other day. We had limited time, little uh, old person community sale or whatever, like 55 plusser. Old person, that's not a nice thing to say. 55 is not even that old anymore. I take that back. But there was a sale of these wonderfully seasoned people that um, have <laughs> been out there and they have a little garage sale in their community once a year. And um, this guy had two golf bags and we agreed on 45 bucks. I offered a 40. He took, uh, he offered counted at 50 and then he immediately countered back at 45 and said that was fair. 
That zany is getting huge. So we're 45 in for all these clubs, and then we've already sold 170 bucks, and I still have more to sell. There were a lot of ones that were junky in there, but he had a third bag that he wouldn't sell, but it was a very good bag of golf clubs. But I was hoping he'd buy it or sell it, but he wouldn't. He has my number, though. Maybe he'll come through. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. They're older tailor-made, which usually don't sell as well, but this huge set and being the lefty set, it was pretty cool with the bubble shaft. So nicely done. And then our last little set of bongos. These are the DK um, bongo drums for the Nintendo GameCube, and they sold for $45 shipped. We sold the other box for, I think, $50 shipped, and we got $45 for this one. So pretty happy that was 5 bucks, and happy to see it go. And then our, it's our last item. These are a pair of World War II U.S. Military Army um, insignia pins. They have little rifles on them. I think they're from the American Legion. All those pins. It doesn't say it there, oh, but yeah. we bought them from like all those American Legion pins and the Chinese like political pins and stuff. And uh, we spent like 30 bucks on all of them. He loves, he's a mama's boy for sure. Tori's a daddy's girl right now. And he, he used to be a daddy's boy for like two to three maybe, right? Yeah. And he would follow me everywhere, and we're at her parents' house, staying there. He would just follow me in the garage and just crazy. Now, he just loves his mom. So wants his dad out of the picture sometimes. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, I just love my mom. She's my best friend and dad. You know, you sleep in mommy's bed, but I want to Like sleep. when Papa says, oh, you love Papa? He goes, yeah, and I love my mommy too. Yeah, he always makes sure to include his mom. His mom's you his best friend. You can say anything. Or, oh, you love ice cream? Yeah, and I love my mommy too. And then he'll be like, at, we'll be like his friends at church. He'll be like, oh, my friend's Connor, Leslie, and my mom. <laughs> my mom. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> I exist somewhere in his world. But these sold for $25. Yeah, yes. first class. So we got a little item there. Anyways, this is all we got. Um, Zane, you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for the video. <laughs> say, we'll see you tomorrow with more sales, right? See you tomorrow with more sales. Okay, <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Hey everyone, we are back with what's sold on eBay. Today is Tuesday, uh, and it was our slowest day in a while. We've had, I think, one other really slow day like this a couple months ago, but it's been a very slow day. It is approaching Christmas, but we still would expect some stuff to go out, and there's not many items waiting for payment, so it's not a case of where there's a bunch of stuff that's sold. We just haven't got payments yet. Just very slow day. Obviously, ebbs and flows. Uh, today is also a day you guys spent, well, I spent, but the business spent $700 shit, delivered for 300 shot manual. You're going to say shipped. <laughs> I was going to say shipped, but uh, he delivered it. Two loads, very nice guy, and he might be a contact for some future purchases, which Linda and I talked about already were sound interesting, at least to talk about. So it's a lot of work. I know she's disappointed because there's a lot of stuff everywhere, manuals, but she it's not. It's not as bad as where it's like all the random crack that just piles up and if you open the garage something's gonna fall out it was stacked really because neatly because i had already yeah. been working on the death pile you know that i had really been getting she could almost see this nice clearing of what i was I, so close guys <laughs> but now it's full of manual i should have taken a picture before but um the reality is we bought manuals in the past we spent 500 dollars on my birthday weekend a few years ago and i bought uh, two carloads full of manuals plus a bunch of video games and other stuff i don't remember how many it was it was 31 paper boxes I have a, but there were some in there that were older, junkier, some water damage. So a lot of there was some that I just couldn't even touch. But most of them we were able to list, and we made quite a bit of money. Yeah, I want to say three thousand plus in um, profit after our plus the other stuff that I had bought that day. We spent seven hundred of this. Most of them are sealed. You saw it. Yeah, almost and not all only of them. that, but they're a lot of the same, which is we awesome have, we have we have multi quantities. Listing. Yes, and she's gonna try some on Amazon, which we did not do last time. Um, and there's a lot of newer Honda Acura, which we've done really well with in the past, early to late 2000s. So hopefully we'll make some money on that and that will, uh, you know, we won't have any more days like these in the future. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but let's get into a couple things that sold. Uh, how did we do today? Today we had five sales for, oh, you can see the baby drool on my shoulder, for a total of... 105. Oh, to be fair, I have dust and stuff all over me. You guys just might not be able to see it. This, way. Okay. this is one of my favorite shirts, by the way. <laughs> oh, boy. Linda, Linda really sale... likes the, uh, what do they call the raglan style. The... Yeah, I do. She likes that. And the backwards hat, money. Anyways, our first sale is Disney Sing Along Songs, Very Merry Christmas. And this is a VHS from 1997, and it is sealed with 
the little proof of purchase thing already still on there. And you get, look, save three bucks off Duracell batteries. Nice. wonder if they would take that. Oh, it's... expired January 31st, 1994. Man. How much did it sell for? It sold for $18 and some change. And that is from the Hirsch buy. Yeah. We sold a lot of those Disney sing-along sealed ones. So something to look out for. This was this surprised me. I wasn't. I didn't expect it to be worth as much as it was. This is a bestie buy of uh, AMC's The Walking Dead. This is the complete ninth season, and that sold for fourteen dollars. Shit. Yeah, fourteen bucks for a used copy of that was pretty good. That was only a buck, so that was cool. Some people don't have Netflix. Yeah, it's like, I really like season nine. It's my favorite season. Let me buy it. <laughs> for me, it's like, are you really gonna watch it again? Like, that's the question I have. Like, once I've seen a lot of stuff, I don't watch them again. Yeah, no. The only thing that was out when we lived with your parents was they always had the office. Your brother and sister always had the office or Parks and Rec on. Not just, not Corinna though. No, but your brother, he brother, controlled the TV during the day. He's probably watched the office like he knows every episode, seven times yeah. through or something. And he would just keep watching it. Like, and we lived there for a year. So like we, I saw the same episode of the office multiple times because he would always just run through them. Yeah. And sometimes he wouldn't even be in there, but he'd make sure the office. So anytime he walked out, he'd it's be like, ha ha. And then he'd walk back. So, yeah. I'm like, dude. It was crazy. Anyways. Next up, we got the complete guide to growing marijuana from 1974. I don't know if it'll be very useful now, but, you Tech know, plants are plants. Technology may have changed, though. Yeah. Like, the plant so, part of it. That is also a bestie buy out of all those marijuana books that we got That's when we got this table that looks like someone was probably growing their own marijuana. Yeah. And doing some other questionable stuff. Anyways. And it sold for $20 <laughs> shipped. We sold a lot of those books. We made quite a bit of We don't have many of them marijuana ones. So. No. We only got like two or three. Next up, we got a vintage of Ralph Polo, Ralph Lauren Polo Navy jacket. It kind of reminds me of like a Dickie's jacket. It's kind of like a grandpa style though. Like it's not really, it's not the, um, what it is it? It looks like a Dickie's jacket though. It kind of does, but it's like, it's a size small. I could just see a little grandpa wearing this out to McDonald's to get his senior coffee. Anyways. And it sold for $35. That was ship. like two bucks. I saw it at a garage sale and I grabbed it. And lastly, probably my favorite sale. The Something day. near and dear to Cameron's heart. This is Pokemon, the first movie, the soundtrack. Great movie, by the way. From 1999. It's got some great artists on NSYNC on here. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, 98 Degrees, Vitamin C. Baby Spice by herself, I guess. I don't know. Um, Aaron Carter. Shh. Classics. But happy that sold. Made a few bucks. It sold for $10, guys. But it's a classic. Anyway. And that is it. So there's only like 20 minutes left. I don't think anything else is going to come through. So that'll probably end the video. It might be a little short, but we kind of talked for a little bit in between there. We appreciate you guys watching. Linda's going to get this packed up. And hopefully tomorrow and the next day, we'll have some better stuff to show you guys. Take care. We probably won't, but... But to we'll be honest, Monday was a $400 day. So there was a couple things yesterday that we were showing. Yeah. We sold the golf club sets and stuff. So hopefully that was entertaining and or valuable. And this may have been entertaining. So bye-bye.